What's up, weirdos? Are women important? Apparently not. I wish I had never seen this. I saw this guy pop up on Twitter, and then I started researching, and Dave Cat terrifies me. With a name like Dave Cat, you might expect him to be into anime. And he is. What you might not expect him to be into is soft, plastic, synthetic women that you can... Ah, the whole thing is creepy. I think it should just be illegal. I'm sorry. You can have your devices, you can do your little things, but then if you put a face on it, no. But Dave Cat doesn't just have a synthetic doll. He also is in love with it, and it's his life partner. And he roleplays as it on Twitter. And he does the same thing with three others. So, ooh, how fun. You want to meet him? I can't live without my real doll. You're 37. Just real quick, let's keep that in mind. He's 37. That's three decades and then almost another decade. And after all that life experience, he decided, you know what? Let me put myself on TV with a synthetic doll. Don't like the kissing. Don't like touching. Don't like it having bare feet. Something about having a bare foot. Like, it just, I don't know. It just, the whole thing feels uncomfortable. But let's, yeah, let's keep going. But it's actually progressed to the point where it's like, you know, she's my wife. <laughs> This is a horror movie. The shots of the lifeless doll, because you know, it's a doll just sitting there, you know, with its mouth open so that the people who buy it can, you know, when I first got her, I just called her my synthetic girlfriend, but you know, since then it's progressed and now I call her my wife. That's not your wife, King. That's some goopy plastic that got molded into the shape of boobs and legs and a woman face. But isn't that what it's all about? You know, getting curvy, beautiful plastic toys and then taking those toys and doing things to them instead of, you know, meeting a real woman. Wait, talk to a woman and develop a connection with them? Or I could just imagine it in my mind on this plastic little rump. God, we're 20 seconds in and I'm already spotting She's my wife. She's not awake right now because, uh, well, basically she kept hitting the snooze button, so it's just like, just let her sleep. It's not even worth getting her out of bed at this point. You freak. Oh, she, you know, she just didn't want to get out of bed. She hit that snooze alarm a couple too many times. She's a doll. And you know she's a doll, and you know that we all know she's a doll, and we all don't love her the way that you do, Dave Cat. Because how can you tell if she's awake or asleep if the whole time she's just... Oh, 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 ew, ew, ew. Do you see those handcuffs? So you need to restrain your doll that already doesn't move. You need even more control and more restraint over it. And this isn't a true crime documentary. He knew they were coming to film him today. And he's got, oh my God, what's the thing to the side of the bed? Is that little hook thing that, that's where you put other, oh my God. The whole interaction on a day-to-day -day basis along the lines of like getting her dressed, you know, brushing her hair, things of that nature. My friends, after I drink 57 cold Coors Lights and pass out and I wake up in the morning and I can't even move anymore and I'm out of control of my body. The little hook thing that I thought was made Maybe for handcuffs to connect. It's just he hangs her there like that. Just getting my synthetic wife ready for a long day of opening her mouth and swallowing my. And I clean it out with a little bit of warm soap. <laughs> the way he talks about her. Oh yeah, she's my beautiful wife. I just get her ready for the day. You know, put a little bit of things in her hair, get her ready. Talking about her, who's sitting there just. And that's not creepy to him. By the way, just do like you don't just you don't need all this. We're 40 fucking seconds in this video. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I gotta get through this because at some point in this, he goes and talks to a psychologist. Photo shoots are are something fun that we do. It's just like okay, well, you know, the sex is gonna be fantastic. The sex is gonna be fantastic. No, it's not. It's a lifeless clump of rubber plastic, boy. This shows how he views women, like literally objects, literally objects, because that's an object, and he thinks that that sex is gonna be fantastic. And you know he does think it because he continues to do it and he's in love with her because he loves having a woman who won't say anything but to him. Oh, He literally bought this thing and then daily pumps into it and then just goes on TV and lets us know and the, him carrying it around for the photo shoots. No, no, so creepy and icky. <laughs> God, Dave Cat, don't be this way. She's my wife. Dave Cat was interested in synthetic dolls from a very young age. <laughs> Conroy was interested in politics from a very young age. My mother and I used to go down to downtown Detroit because I would actually be uh, looking at the mannequins and uh, it kind of stemmed from there. I didn't really want to hear about mommy issues in this episode, but okay. Hey, you know what's interesting? I too have seen mannequins before. And what I haven't wanted to do is marry them. The best a mannequin can look is, what am I talking about? <laughs> Let me try to think of the sexiest fucking mannequin I've ever seen. What I'm saying is even like the most sexualized mannequin, most should just remind you of a beautiful woman who you want to be in love with and spend some time with. <laughs> but seriously, you know what I mean? Like it's supposed to remind you of beauty in a woman who's real. Actually, I think it's just made to, you know, hold clothes. <laughs> but it's definitely not made to fuck, Dave Cat. She's my wife.
Back in 1999, actually, uh, my best friend Monty had actually tipped me off to a site that sold these lifelike mannequins that were made out of silicone, so they were nice and soft. Monty should be in prison. Also, what kind of a weird-ass conversation is that to have between friends? This is my impression of Monty. Hey, Dave, I found a website where you can buy a woman who will just lay there while you f inside her. What are you talking about, Monty? It's a synthetic dog. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna buy one and then get married to- I hate that this is a real thing that's happened. I gotta admit, me and, and my friends all thought it was kind of uh, weird. You know, Dave had paying quite a sum of money for a real doll. But after, after he got her and the interest that he showed in her, uh, it was kind of cool. Hey Derek, what the fuck is wrong with you, Derek? Shut the fuck up, Derek. Derek, shut the fuck up! You know, when my friend first bought a synthetic doll to just start c***ing inside of all the time, I thought, that's a little weird. But then we saw how much he liked c***ing inside of his doll, and we thought, you know, that's cool. No! No! Friends are when you make a decision like Dave Cat did. Friends then go, stop! I know because I watched Friends, and that's what Chandler would do if Joey started fucking a mannequin. She's my wife. Her anniversary present for our 10 year, I got these uh, matching wedding bands. They say synthetic love lasts forever. He's had one plastic synthetic rubber doll for 10 years that he has been shooting loads inside of. And they have wedding bands? And his friend Derek's there like, yeah, I thought it was a little bit weird when he started shooting loads into that mannequin, but you know, the wedding was really sweet. No, no, no! And I know that this could come across as judgmental. I'm judging them. <laughs> I don't care if she's your wife. She's made of plastic. And she's not Margot Robbie from Barbie, or Ken from Barbie, or Simu Liu from Barbie. She's my wife. I already know she's a doll. It's not a situation where it's just like, oh yeah, she's gonna come to life one day. As long as you have at least one foot in reality, it's, it's a perfectly normal thing, I think. But what's interesting is that it's not perfectly normal because nobody does this, Dave Cat. And the people who do do that are a very, 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 very small group of creepy freaks. And what we say about creepy freaks is that if you can be a creepy freak or you can be normal. And if you're a creepy freak, that's fine. You can be a normal creepy freak. But the most normal you can be is normal within the creepy freak community. Not kink shaming. This shaming. And by the way, when I say this, we support sex workers, do we not? Do we not? But Derek needs to take him and Monty to a strip club to see real women who are consensually showing their body to them. And then not do this anymore! Oh, but it doesn't hurt anybody! Okay, but it look- but I don't- <laughs> No, it shouldn't be illegal, but it's also not illegal for me to watch it and think it's gross. If Schmidt via a commentary channel. Synthetic love lasts forever. I'll be back before you know it. Love you. 30 minutes before in that same mouth hole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it goes back into my mouth, so it's a closed loop system. <laughs> Just all the sperm stayed in my own body, like a closed loop system, so. Him, I wish I could take her outside, but I gotta leave her cooped up here. Bye, sweetie. Him, 30 seconds before, oh my god, she's spitting on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, this video's getting demonetized, ain't it? He put a tank top on her that says, worship me. He put the worship me shirt on her. The thing is, you could choose to not live like this. Like, you could choose to live a more, like, fulfilling and happy life. He seems fulfilled and happy, I guess. But his fulfillment and happiness is coming from going like that on a fucking rubber doll. That is shaped like a woman in the most, like, objectifying way. Because clearly he thinks that this is better than a real woman. Because he's like, uh, yeah, because she's got big boobs and big butt and she's really skinny and hot. And I get to come inside it whenever I want. Better than real women. No, Dave Cat. Real women are cool. Not to be pick me, but in my opinion, real women are cool. Especially gay women. Shout out gay women. Gay women in the comments. Go wild. Go wild in the comments, gay women. We love you. And real quick, what's up for my boys who like girls? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? If you're a boy who likes girls, comment below. Say what's up. We're all on the same page here, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm just trying to divert from watching this. Hold down the fort, okay? He said hold down the fort, okay? Like she can hold anything down. Imagine somebody breaks into the house and sees her just like, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> A robber comes in and thinks that's a real person and just... He comes back, there's rubber everywhere. Rubber and <laughs> oh, God. cops are like, dude, you definitely did this. We've got your <laughs> all over the crime scene. He's like, no, I was inside my wife when they shot. <laughs> oh no. And we don't want to be one of those couples that like dresses alike, because that's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> the same at least. Yeah, I agree, Dave Cat. If you got matching clothing for you and your sex doll that you synthetically fucking three times a day and treat you like your wife, that'd be creepy. You gotta dress differently from the plastic rubber synthetic doll that you fucking come in all the time. That way it's not weird. She's my wife. I am definitely excited about getting those clothes back. I think Monty and I managed to find some good stuff for him. That woman was Monty? Sorry, your best friend, Monty, who told you about these sex dolls, is a woman? Well damn, my misogyny just showed. 
I thought Monty's could only be boys. What about Monty Python? Those were boys. In my mind, I'm trying really hard to separate myself from saying Monty and Dave Cash should be together. <laughs> Wait, a boy and a girl in the same story? Um, I'm gonna ship them. <laughs> but it seems like they have this bonding over the synthetic sex doll that Dave Cat comes in all the time. So I think it would be better if they just threw the sex doll out and then had a conversation with each other. Why did Monty recommend this? Monty is an enigma. She seemed like the only normal person in this story. And then we find out that she was the gateway drug to the synthetic doll that he, you know, bangs and shoots Jacks in. Shoots Jacks is what I call <laughs> I got a lot of stuff for you. You will be impressed. That reminds me of my bitch wife. She doesn't even pay attention to me either. It doesn't, like, feel real. Do you know what I mean? Like, this situation, it feels like this doesn't exist. But, so let's stop real quick and let me show you his Twitter and her Twitter. We're gonna have to blur this one so you can't see it, but I'm gonna describe what's happening to you. Oh my god. So that is a synthetic doll with big ol' massive jugs in a milkmaid costume getting the- getting the jugs jiggled. A dream come true for me if it was a real person and we were in love. <laughs> but a weird thing to tweet, especially when it's a synthetic doll! Ugh. Oh my god, oh my god, it's just so many dolls' boobs. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, oh my god. But this right here is the account that he runs for that doll that we were just looking at. This is a Twitter that he's running, he's typing all these things, but in the voice of that doll. The doll says, As I couldn't decide which recent photo of us to use for my updated pinned tweet, I chose both. Sick. I don't really want to comment too much on his looks, because I feel like that's just cheap shots. But the hair. It's like, what's it called? Flaccid Cyan? Super Cyan Flaccid? I don't know. You got a killer ass watch though. Shout out Dave Cat. Oh uh, yeah, the, see this is what I didn't like. Right. I'm away. Here's myself and Lanochka, the mistress Dave Cat and I share. Yeah, this is what I was saying. He got multiple dolls. And if you can see in the background between them, there's a third. But what I was saying is, yeah, I don't like the opposability of these toes. The movability, the detail, and the fact that those were intentionally placed on screen. Seems like he likes those doll toes. I'm sorry. I gotta blur this so you can't see it, but literally just a doll that is so like sexed up. It's insane. This one too. Okay, you can see this one. So imagine this, but the slight amount of clothing isn't there. That's what all of his other tweets are. So cute. <laughs> but that's a real doll that somebody's inside of. Do you know what I mean? That's like a real doll that's used for that specific thing. Not like an animated character who's like, oh, this is a character. That is made to be sexed. People do that and then they take pictures of it and then he retweets them. And he says that, you know, it's normal because I know they're dolls. And what's crazy is, I think I like the sex doll more than him. I think, I think I might actually agree with the doll a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Why the feet? Why? Why? He's got like a Tolkien-esque world building and lore for these, <laughs> for, for these dolls. All that work just to feel like you're not cheating on your synthetic rubber Dump. And I say that because that's what it is, because it's not a woman. It's a synthetic thing that's shaped like a woman so that you can objectify women and then dump your into it. Let's not say it's a life partner. Let's not say it's your girlfriend. It is that. And if that makes you feel uncomfortable, then I think that we're on the same page because it's icky. But that's not all. He has six sex dolls now. That one, and there's that one. So two completely separate, unique individual dolls aside from his original doll, as well as Diane, his other doll. Yeah, so here's Diane, his fourth. I, I just genuinely am having a very hard time accepting this as like, anything other than terrifying. Hey, I was talking about Barbie earlier, and then he was like, I guess he had the same thought of me as Barbie, like, oh. Is it just me, or does this one look way less real? Is this like a like a cheap doll? Is this like, like he didn't have enough money to get a real good doll? The other ones look fake because they're fake, but this one looks like a Lego. <laughs> but that's not all. This is Dave's fifth sex doll. This one looks more realistic. Awesome, he got his money up. And we can see in this video, like he lives in a small apartment. Like apartment that would be difficult to have more than one other roommate. And he's got five other roommates that he just, I guess, shoves in a closet until he wants to dump his into them. But because they're all in love with each other, it's not weird. My dolls all love each other, so it's cool that I have five of them and I fuck them. And all five of them are my wives. This man is a nightmare. Synthetic love lasts forever. This? A shirt cardigan thing that just goes over you. It's interesting how on this show, on camera, he put clothing on top of her body, but on Twitter, in his private life, 
Doesn't look like there's a lot of clothing on those dolls. Just saying. But those are those dolls' Twitter accounts, and all dolls should be allowed to tweet however they want about their own bodies. It's normal for children to have a rich fantasy life, including imaginary friends. But when it continues into adult life, that's when there is a problem. By the way, I like imagination. No, I like creativity. I think that it's cool to be able to, you know, invent little worlds and like writing. It's so great. But if you see your son's imagination turning into him giving characters to the mannequins at Kohl's, tell him that imagination will kill him. Tell him that creativity will destroy him. Tell him that if he has an imaginary friend, his dad will die. Because a child with no whimsy is so much better than an adult with this type of whimsy. It's some dark fucking whimsy. Whimsical nightmares beyond human comprehension. I don't honestly think there'd be anything that an organic lass could actually do to like draw me away from her. What about having consciousness and warmth and the ability to reciprocate love and the freedom of choice? Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, that's probably what it is. No, 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 because at first I was like, what about all these great things? But then one of them was the freedom of choice and that's like, a, that's not gonna work for you, I guess. Yeah, because you gotta have something that's an object that you literally can control. If I ever find Dave Cat, and I genuinely don't mean this in like a mean way or a rude way, but in a way of saving his life, I am going going to melt his dolls into a puddle and then turn them into a big block. I'm gonna have a big block of synthetic rubber plastic, just a cube. Oh, but is that gonna mean the in there too? Nah, nah I don't wanna do all that. But I've always been fascinated with what a so-called professional would think of my lifestyle. Love the way that he's already discrediting him, that a so-called professional. I don't know if you have the right to the higher ground when you are, by the way, in sex dolls. You're talking to a man with a PhD and you in sex dolls. I think that he is uh, status wise, you know, better. Dave, some people would say that Chichan is is a distraction. It, it kind of derails you. Why the fuck does the psychologist have his dogs out? <laughs> is that a rule that Dave has? Dave, you freak. Nice, you know, cocaine pinky. This is all making sense. Okay. It's all adding up. He's got the cocaine pinky, and then he's got this psychologist who he forced to take his shoes and socks off when he came into the house. I'm seeing what this guy's all about. All right, let's see if we can fix him. I'm gonna say probably not, since five years since this episode, he's gotten four more sex dolls. <laughs> I can't seem to find, like, an organic partner that's good for me. Not sure why I haven't found a woman that works for me. You know, but this synthetic doll does, but real women don't. What's the thing that makes them different? Hmm, one of them is their own person with their own life and their own choices and their own will and their own ideas. And this one I can fuck whenever I want. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. <sighs> Probably not. What's the pain here? The pain, I would have to say, would be loneliness, really. So the pain that you feel is loneliness and your solution is to not interact with other people, but to get a sex doll that you can in all the time. Not the healthiest way of coping, I think. But hey, it's your rodeo, bro. If you just had a bunch of affairs and they didn't work out well, hey, it's your call. Psychologist, please tell him something that'll make him change. Psychologist, please. Probably not. Is there a part of you that thinks this is peculiar? I just think it's a matter of time before people are, more people are choosing the synthetic option. And that is a little psychological problem that happens when you get what I call Reddit. If you get yourself into a community and then you subscribe to a little, like a smaller sub community, and then you see all these people constantly talking about it, it feels normal because all these people are always talking about it. But those people are so not indicative of the overall population. I saw shared in the synthetic doll subreddit that there's gonna be a lot more acceptance in the coming years. You know, it's becoming a growing trend. No, it's not. No, it's not. Just in that small little forum where it's the only thing that people are talking about. So you think that it's a bigger deal than it actually is. Nobody does this, Dave Cat. The people that do are, sorry, creepy freaks. It's like joining a community of people who think that it's better to run backwards. It's easier on your joints. Everybody's gonna be doing it. And if you get a thousand people who like running backwards in a community all together, they're all gonna think that it's gonna be a thing, but it's not. It's a normal thing for that thousand, but for the billions of people on earth, they don't do that. So that's why if you run backwards for exercise, you might as well get a synthetic doll and shoot and <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I can't even say that with a straight face. Okay, let's keep going. Please, psychologist, please. Are you still lonely? No. I am actually quite happy. Me when I lie. <laughs> Are you lonely? No. I'm quite happy. <laughs> uh, Cap. Can't wait to get a synthetic doll and put I love daddy's dick hat on her. I really gotta throw that away. Somebody saw that a couple days ago and it embarrassed me. Let's say you, if you went on vacation when you came back, would you talk to her about the vacation? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, let's sit down and look at the pics, you know. But, you know, it's, that's, I think, a natural thing that any couple would do. Yeah, but again, she's made of plastic and rubber and you shoot hot into her and she just lays there like this. 
So it's not a normal couple, is it, Dave Cat? Yeah, I would tell her about my vacation. That's what any couple would do. Yeah, but again, she doesn't respond because she's made of rubber and doesn't have a soul. And not she doesn't have a soul in the way that like a, you know, Diane Feinstein doesn't have a soul. Diane Feinstein is what we refer to as a husk. This it doesn't even qualify as a husk. He at once infuriates me and also gives me this deep, deep, deep sadness for him. But then more than anything, makes me go, ew! Dave, she can't see. Yeah. And she can't hear. Yes. And it doesn't hurt anyone. Exactly. So knock yourself out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Yo, what the fuck? This is the worst psychologist I've ever seen in my entire life. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, so you know, I was brought here specifically to help you deal with the underlying traumas that have led you to coping with it in this way. But instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see this coping mechanism and go, you know, it's like, where is that? <laughs> Give me one. They got the wrong psychologist. A man who is immediately willing to take his shoes and socks off at the first opportunity and then, you know, just be like, Give me one. <laughs> I'm sorry, TLC's definitely gonna fire this dude. Exactly. It will become more difficult eventually to have a relationship with a real person. Yeah, so you should help him. <laughs> you shouldn't just leave. You shouldn't be like, so it doesn't hurt anybody and hey, and then leave. <laughs> Imagine if you went to your therapist and were like, yeah, I'm going through all these things and I'm really struggling with it and this stuff's going on, this stuff's going on. And they're like, yeah, well, you're not dead, so I guess that's fine, so peace. <laughs> oh my god. Well, no wonder he's still doing it five years later. He got four more sex dolls. The psychologist totally gave him the seal of approval. <laughs> now Dave Cat's like, oh, you know, I thought I was gonna get my ass handed to me, but this guy basically said, go for it, so let me get four more. <laughs> Dude has a starting lineup for an NBA team of synthetic dolls. <laughs> Oh my god, Dave Cat, no. But if there's anybody who deserves to be a spokesperson for these people, it's Dave Cat. Because I have never seen somebody who looks more like somebody who would have five synthetic dolls that he f***s. This right here, this is the face of a man who would do that. And there's just no denying it. That's the man who would do it. He's a great poster child, and I think it's creepy. <laughs> so my message today is go crazy with it. Have fun, get some toys, do anything you want to do. You know, you know, have, have a blast. Go nuts, go wild. But if you get a synthetic doll and you call it your wife, I'm gonna think it's a little bit creepy, especially if you roleplay as it online, that's it. I love you weirdos, please subscribe. Oh my God, I was literally just gonna talk about my clothing. I'm wearing the necklace that I'm, oh my God. This is the necklace that I am releasing on July 1st. I've been wearing it, but I take it off my YouTube videos. Well, okay, here it is, here it is. Ooh, the reveal, ooh, the reveal. It's made of freshwater, natural pearls, real pearls, and tiger's eye, and it's really nice, and it comes with a three inch extender, July 1st. It's gonna be on my website, and I'll let you know more details when it comes. I'm also wearing, I'm sure that's, actually, you know what?